Well, it's that day. The first snowfall. And it looks like it's a good one. Of course, we're out here in it, aren't we, Riley? Aren't we? You looking forward to running around, huh? You ready? Let's go. Whoop, whoop, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're trying out our new boots today. <laughs> These are the Columbia Minx 3 version. Supposed to have good traction, supposed to be waterproof, supposed to be warm down to 25 degrees. Hey, 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 hey. What is this hole you digging over here? Will you stop? My goodness. What are you after? Some poor thing. Mm. I love it when it's like a winter wonderland out here. Postcard. Are you finding anything, Riley? <laughs> Did you find anything, Riley? Probably not. So the first trial with these boots went really good. I mean, my feet are nice and warm. They're comfortable, dry. So it's time for some hot chocolate now because what better thing to have on the first day than a very special hot chocolate. We have some oat milk heating up. We're adding a little bit of vanilla to our oat milk. And then we're going to add a dash of cinnamon. I mean, that's like more than a dash, a healthy dash of cinnamon. using my favorite hot chocolate. This reminds me of my godfather who shared with me his culture and love of Mexican food, Mexican beverages. And so we're gonna use our Abuelita hot chocolate. It comes in these chocolate discs like this and it's one fourth per serving. So this is for two servings here. <laughs> and now we're going to add that to our hot oat milk and we're just going to gently whisk it around until the chocolate is all melted but we have a few things that we're going to add to make this special we have some fresh ginger here that I am going to cut up so that it can infuse our beverage with a little extra warming, a little extra antioxidants, a little extra anti-inflammatories, warming herbs that get the circulation going.
and then we're gonna whisk that some more and the combination of chocolate and orange is a particularly good combination and orange and ginger so I figured why not try a ginger orange hot chocolate so we're just gonna add some fresh squeezed orange juice to our hot chocolate mixture and a pinch of salt just a pinch or two little pinches now while that is infusing and becoming amazing on the stove I decided that another good thing to do today would be to get some things prepared for the long winter ahead. Sometimes it's nice to have fruits that are dried and that can be added to your tea. These can be chopped up and added to any beverage, really, any warm beverage. So I have some oranges, some lemons, and some limes. And we're just going to cut those into thin slices so they can be placed in the dehydrator. These can also be used as decorations. You could string them together and make a garland if you are decorating a Christmas tree or making an, a mantle decoration or a Kwanzaa table or any kind of decoration. The dried fruits could be strung together as well. I also have some delicious honey crisp apples and they had been in the refrigerator for a while so trying to really practice my zero waste efforts so we're going to add those to the dehydrator also and again these can be used for tea or any kind of a punch or a even for cocktails or anything like that they can even be rehydrated and used for certain dishes I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon juice over the top to see if that'll prevent them from browning I'm not sure if it will but I don't think it'll hurt and these could be used for decoration as well they could be strung together with um, needle and thread and you could put cinnamon sticks on there too and and that could be used for decoration but I see myself really using these as part of my tea for the cold winter months ahead this is my first time dehydrating fruit in the dehydrator I've used it a lot for herbs and so I am going to start it at 135 degrees as it's indicated on the dehydrator and I'm going to let that go all night and then I'll check and see where they are in the morning but if the fruit is anything like the herbs this is probably going to take more than a day for it to dehydrate because we want it to be good and dry so there's no chance of mold and now that we're finished loading the dehydrator doing our work for the day let's get back to our orange ginger cinnamon hot chocolate that we're gonna pour up with our little strainer here to get the ginger to catch the ginger and any um, any bits that might have been on the ginger or the orange
It smells so good. And we're just going to add a little dash of cinnamon. That really is a dash. Decorate it just a little bit with a orange slice. And there we are. What better way to celebrate the first snowfall and the maiden voyage of my boots <laughs> with some delicious Mexican hot chocolate spiced up with some ginger and orange and cinnamon. So I hope you take care, stay warm, and I will see you in the next video. All right. Peace.